Welcome to the Nano Networking and Molecular Communication module of the Colibri project. My name is Rukru Kuran from Boazic University. In this video, we will be covering the second part of the introductory level of the module. This time, we will be talking on the potential applications and current research challenges of this new communication field and research area. As we described in the previous video, with the advent of newer, smaller devices that can communicate in a nanoscale, there will be novel applications for these kinds of machines. Because of their smaller sizes compared to the current generation of devices, they will be able to work in places where the current devices are either unable to work or work very inefficiently. We differentiate these applications into two groups based on the underlying selected nano-networking approach given in the previous video. Applications utilizing nano-electromagnetic communication, in short the NEC, and applications utilizing molecular communication, the MC. The NEC applications generally deal with outside of living organism environments, while MC applications mostly deal with inside of living organism environments. A very important application for the NEC approach is the wireless network on chip application. It can be summed up as an efficient wireless communication enabling higher performance for highly parallel processors or using a better term, highly parallel system on chips. Traditionally, network on chips rely on wired solutions. But as the number of cores increase, wired solutions start to be less efficient and this communication bottleneck becomes a serious performance limiting factor. The wireless network on chip, on the other hand, utilizes graphene nano antennas and terahertz signaling to achieve higher communication performance and allows much higher parallelization opportunities. Here you can see a hypothetical schematics of a 144 core processor utilizing wireless transceivers and graphene antennas. Off-chip communication is another potential NEC application referring to all communication that occurs between component A that is located within a chip and a set of components B that are located outside of that chip. Many cases can be included within this definition. The set of components B may be located in another chip in the same or a different board and or in the same or different computer. One particularly recurrent case of this off-chip communication is the communication between the caches of a multiprocessor chip and the main memory of the processor. These are the DRAM modules that are probably within the same board. An EC can also be utilized in the wireless sensor networks with nanomachine sensors, also known as nanosensors. The resulting application family, the wireless nanosensor networks, can be utilized for a variety of sensing applications. For example, detection of harmful chemicals, pollens, gases in the environment in the greater context of environmental sensing. Construction of self-healing, self-cleaning, and self-repairing materials which can immensely increase the lifetime of a product. Looking from a broader perspective on the other hand, Nano-networking systems utilizing the NEC approach can be used to form up an Internet of NanoThings, which can provide coordination between nanomachines in an environment serving different applications. They can act as bridges between other NEC-enabled systems, as well as between NEC and MC systems. Arguably, the most important application for the MC systems is the healthcare and health monitoring systems. Nanomachines deployed inside the human body can sense some environmental values like the concentration of a specific chemical or other physical properties like heat or pH level. Then, each device will decide whether to report this data to the higher level nanomachines in the topology based on the sense value. If it decides so, the sensor nanomachine communicates with these higher level nanomachines via MC systems. We can say that in this fashion, these nanomachines and the utilized MC system 
works like another type of nanosensor networks, as you mentioned before. Based on the application, the health monitoring na nano machines can either work only as a monitoring mechanism or a preventive one. As an example for a preventive mechanism, in a healthcare monitoring application for detecting lipid levels in capillaries, when the lipid levels detected to be too high, the higher level nano machines might decide to release some special chemicals that can clean these lipids from the capillaries. MC systems can also be used for bioimplants and prosthetics. In a human body, the nerve system is responsible for controlling our limbs. When we touch something, biosensors at the fingertips send information about the various properties of the touched object. In the reverse direction, when we want to lift our fingers, for example, the brain sends this message to each joint using the nerve system. This nerve communication is a two-fold system, an electrical signal inside the nerve cells and a chemical signal between the nerves. The MC systems can be used to emulate the lost nerves and convert the electrical and mechanical signals of the prosthetic to the nervous system, or vice versa. This communication between organic tissue and inorganic materials can vastly improve the usability of the prosthetics and allow much finer level of control. There are also some cases where the limb is actually intact and technically operational, but this time the nerves that are responsible for that limb are either damaged or malfunctioning. These issues usually result in the patient to losing either partially or totally the control of the limb. MC systems can be used as alternative signaling pathways, replacing the problematic nerves and allowing a normal limb control to the patient. Another potential MC application is smart drug delivery systems. You must have heard the concept of the side effects of a given drug. When we swallow a drug, in most cases, it doesn't only affect the sick tissue, but also affects other healthy ones. In some cases, the drug actually harms the healthy ones, so t taking the drug doesn't seem like a very good idea, depending on the level of this harming. Instead, smart drugs can be utilized, which can seek the target issue by communicating among themselves and the environment, and are only released if they are near the desired tissue. Lastly, as a generalization of the preventive health monitoring mechanisms mentioned before, a vast number of nanomachines can form some synthetic immune systems that can try to prevent diseases without macroscale human intervention at all. In some sense, systems following the NEC approach utilize similar concepts with the classical electromagnetic wave-based wireless communication methods. There are two main differences between NEC-based nanonetworking systems and contemporary wireless systems the antenna design, and the selected frequency band. It has been argued in the literature that classical antennas are not too efficient in the context of network on chips, and they use a lot of physical space, which is a scarce resource in the design of system on chips. A potential solution to this issue is utilizing graphene antennas, which have different physical properties than the classical ones. As for the frequency selection part, terahertz frequencies seem to be a very good candidate for this domain, with their huge data rate potential over systems using megahertz and gigahertz frequencies. However, these terahertz frequencies are somewhat different from other electromagnetic frequencies, which will require new channel, path loss, and interference models to be developed in order for such systems to work efficiently. When we come to the MC systems, we see that a lot of core physical concepts that we rely on the macro scale does not directly apply to the nano scale. One of the key differences is since we are working in low Reynolds number domain, objects move as if the conservation of momentum rules does not apply to their movement. 
In practice, if you push a molecule, the moment you stop pushing it, its movement will immediately come to a halt. On the other hand, due to the internal dynamics between the molecules, molecules are in a constant probabilistic motion in this domain. This movement is called the Brownian motion, or diffusion, when considering many objects. Beside of this medium-based difference, the information is usually carried over specific molecules or ions in MC systems. Then, the physical, chemical, and biological properties of these molecules, like molecular degradation, chemical attraction, and etc., come into play when evaluating their actions. So, we have given some examples over potential applications that could be realized using nanonetworking systems. Also, we have discussed several key research issues and challenges that are unique to these new systems. This video concludes the introductory level of this module. Here you can see the references of this video. Thank you for listening and see you next time.